The ancient Greek Olympic flame is set to be ignited in Japan on July the 23rd, marking the start of the world's most celebrated sports event. The Tokyo Games are delayed a year due to COVID-19, and many still have questions surrounding the safety of holding the Olympics this summer as the new Delta variant of the virus spreads. So we're going to talk about all the controversy and try to answer some questions you may have about the event. Bateu, tiro de meta, o time parte pro ataque A bola fica à vontade quando tá no pé do craque Seguindo com atenção So some of you may be wondering who this is <laughs> That is Manlak Charlotte, bro And she's a sports presenter And she's from Inglaterra We made it, Shaboot, mashallah Say mashallah Mashallah oh, She said mashallah No, Salah. don't leave me End of episode, thank you <laughs> So you know it's a problem when the actual name of the event has expired like the milk in your fridge. But everything's gonna be alright because the Olympics are happening, people. Tokyo 2020 president Seiko Hashimoto said he is 100% sure the games will go ahead. So please, don't spread negativity. I want to watch the equestrian dressage. Oh, we all do. We all do. Yeah? <laughs> I don't even know what it is, bro. I don't even know. <laughs> No, we do, we do. And even more good news, many of Japan's emergency COVID-19 restrictions were lifted at the end of April. A new wave of cases has since hit Japan, but the country's been relatively successful in containing the pandemic. As of July the 1st, there's been about 800,000 confirmed cases in Japan. The UK, by comparison, has had more than 4.8 million cases. Japan started vaccinating people in February, slightly later than most developed nations. Less than 10% of its population of nearly 126 million are fully vaccinated, with Tokyo and Osaka being the two mega cities that have been hit the hardest by the virus. But authorities aim to vaccinate all elderly citizens by the end of July. So I'm kind of thinking maybe you should take a trip to Japan and, what? <laughs> and Bro, get vaccinated. First you take my show, now you're <laughs> sending me to show. Japan. <laughs> No, but I'm, I'm staying here in the ends, in this studio furthermore, yeah? I did all your work for you, okay? Are you vaccinated? I am, two vaccines. I wish she wasn't, I could be like, I can't do this. I actually got COVID and then I got vaccinated twice. So I'm like the superhero here. So you definitely don't go to Japan, bro. <laughs> How about you, have you been vaccinated? Yeah, I have. Janssen, America, double shot, 24 hours. I couldn't even feel my legs, but... No, neither. I actually got really affected by it. But you know, it's so worth it. I mean, at least that means um, more protection. We can travel. I mean, we can't go to the Olympics, but at least we can travel to other places. Let's hope so, because otherwise they owe me 24 hours from my life. <laughs> There's been a lot of controversy around the event from people in Japan who don't actually want the Olympics to take place. Several Japanese towns that were set to host athletes pulled out because of COVID-19 and concerns about straining their healthcare system. In May, a Japanese doctors' union said it was impossible to safely hold the Games because of the pandemic. Not to mention a poll conducted by a leading Japanese newspaper found 80% of... <laughs> I know, ridiculous. ...of Japan wanted to cancel or postpone the Games, which is unheard of, really. 80% and they're still carrying on with it, I mean... And now visitors from 159 countries are currently banned from entering Japan which means the games will be played without any international fans. Imagine the Olympics without all the fans. Hectic. Hectic, isn't it? What? Is it really the Olympics without that? And get this, fans won't even be able to shout or speak loudly, and in line with the current World Health Organization recommendations, they'll have to wear masks. Up to 10,000 Japanese fans will be let out once into the stadiums, which will be capped at 50% capacity. So can you imagine watching the Olympics silently, fam? How can you do that? We be can you show? In. We wouldn't be allowed in. Show me, show me. Show me how you watch <laughs> the Olympics silently. I think that works. <laughs> you get kicked out of the stadium. I'd be out, I'd be out. That's what I'm saying, I'd be out. I can't, I can't keep quiet for like five minutes. So some of you may be wondering, what about the athletes? The World Players Association says the IOC must do more to ensure athletes' safety, including more physical distancing and systematic testing. Japanese tennis star Naomi Osaka says there should be a more of a public debate over whether the Olympics should go ahead or not. What do you think about that? I, I think if Naomi, if Naomi says it, Khalas, <laughs> listen to Naomi, <laughs> no, fam. She knows. she knows. But remember, these events cost a lot of money. The budget for Tokyo 2020 was set at $12.6 billion. And the cost is thought to be double that amount, fam. So cancelling the event would be a big blow to the IOC's financial situation that would inevitably affect the future of this global event. So what's it gonna be? Khair, inshallah. 
I don't know, money talks, money talks. So. We just look and say khair, inshallah. Khair, inshallah. Well, <laughs> she said mashallah, now she said inshallah, la ilaha illallah, bro, salam. <laughs> Why do you keep leaving me? It's not my show yet. All the time. Anyway. <laughs>